Hey there, it's Lee here. Welcome back to another video for iMind Blocks. In today's video, I'm quite excited because Claymore had just released a brand new version of his dual Ethereum and Creed Miner, which also mines Sirecoin as well. But the big feature this time around is that it actually supports NVIDIA GPUs. So that is great news for anyone that's been mining and using uh, the various NVIDIA miners. But now you can actually use the Claymore's miner to dual mine on your NVIDIA hardware. So it's great news. AMD users have had a bit of an advantage for a while, but now it's come finally to NVIDIA. So that is really great news for those users. So I'm actually on the Claymore's um, Bitcoin Talk thread right now. So the current version or the newest version is version 6. Uh, previous to that, it was 5.3. That was the last update that I did. Um, so I've not even actually downloaded this um, at all. Um, so this is actually going to be my first experience uh, with the miner. Um, on this particular machine is actually my home machine. And I'm actually with a NVIDIA uh, GPU. It's got a, a GTX 970 inside it. So this is going to be my first sort of raw experience uh, with this miner on this hardware. And um, hopefully it all works out. So first thing we need to do is uh, find the version 6 which is should be down the bottom presumably and then we just want to uh, download it okay so that's downloaded I'm just gonna open up the downloads folder and then I'm just gonna extract it going to shorten that name up and um, I'm just going to copy that across to my crypto miners folders I'm just going to paste that in there open up that what just downloaded so it's kind of in a double folder that always uh, bugs me a little bit but anyway um, then on the side here I've got these batch files uh, these are the batch files that I actually used for um, one of my AMD miners so I'm just going to use these as kind of like a template to uh, get started, uh, even though it's with the NVIDIA configuration. So first of all, let's just start off with just mining Ethereum only. So I'm just editing the actual batch file here, uh, and I'm just going to change it to uh, just going to change the actual uh, worker name. Actually, I can't remember even. I've got so many worker names now, it's difficult to remember uh, which one is which. Let's just do worker X and let's uh, save that. Okay, so I'm going to try and run the miner for the first time now. Let's just close the uh, browse in the back there. Desktop is getting a little bit messy. Um, so we're going to start Ethereum only and let's see what happens. Okay, so first of all, it hasn't actually found uh, my device or the OpenCL device that I want to use. Um, and it might be because I'm actually using older drivers. So let's just double check what drivers I'm actually using because part of the problem is on Windows 10 is uh, the drivers are all, you know, often automatically updating. So it's difficult to remember. I should be using. 34788 drivers but I'm just wondering whether that might have actually changed and uh, whether Windows already automatically updated okay so it actually hasn't updated so this miner doesn't want to work with these drivers unless I can change the mode or I've got to do um, something different to get it to work with uh, the Nvidia device so let me just check the readme first so if there's any extra information there that I need to change for for the actual um, NVIDIA support. quite a lot within this actual file. I'm not really seeing anything to do with uh, NVIDIA. This has got something down the bottom somewhere, perhaps. Let's do um, find. 
Okay, so it's got nothing in the actual readme to do with uh, NVIDIA. Mm, okay, so maybe it's just an actual driver update then, in that case. What I'll do is um, I'll update the drivers to the latest version and just see uh, what effect that has. Uh, whilst that's just updating, I'll just check the um, Bitcoin talk thread and just see if there's anything in there that says... Uh... Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> that's actually useful. So for the NVIDIA cards, you want to be using 368.81, which I think is the, one of the most recent ones, um, I believe. So once we actually update the driver, then hopefully we should be able to get mining. So this is all part of the process when it comes to mining, trying trying different softwares and different hardware. It's quite common you sort of run into these uh, little uh, roadblocks and you just kind of have to dry, burst your way through and just uh, work out what you need to do to, to get it up and running. So these are just, well, I say roadblocks, it's more like hurdles. You just got to keep on jumping over and working through these things. Yeah, whilst that's going, I'll just actually, I think I'll just update the work details on my, it's not super important. On those parts, I'll leave the secondary coins as they was because um, I don't think I can't actually remember what works I've got set up actually at the pools, and you need to do that for it to be properly allocated. Otherwise, you'll just get an error; it won't recognise the worker if you put in the wrong one. Okay, so that's our drivers update. Let's see what it actually updated to. So now we've got six nine o nine. Um, I'm just going to try it with that. And if not, I'll have to download the specific driver and um, do it that way otherwise. So let's just close all that. Let's try Ethereum only again. Oh, that is Ethan's site. Sorry, let's close that. Ethereum only. And yeah, it looks like we're making some progress this time. We've got a firewall, so we're just going to allow that. Okay, so the Ethereum miner is mining, but the hash rate is very low. Um, and this is a problem with, due to the actual Windows um, NVIDIA drivers. So if you use the, the 34788 drivers with the other Ethereum miners, you basically get 18 mega hashes. But if you use the newer uh, drivers, then you only get like 4.4 um, uh, mega hashes. So I'm not too sure if this is going to be an actual problem with it or the problem is still going to apply with this actual miner. So, you know, you can dual mine, but if you have to use it with the newer drivers, you're not going to get that best um, hashing speed. I think what I'll do is I'll download the one that they specifically um, suggest and I'll try it with that. But I think we might be in the same situation where we're still going to get this slow Ethereum hash speed. So I'll download the one they say, and we'll just we'll just try it. Um, I could have actually read through um, you know pages of the actual Bitcoin talk thread uh, prior to making this video, but really I just wanted to kind of just get on and get started with it. So it's uh, three six eight one. Okay, so that. Uh, driver the most recent one or the or the one that was actually recommended um has actually uh, completed the download um but someone else was actually just saying in the actual bitcoin sort of thread um that basically they use this driver and it's you know it's the same it's the same slowness so it's not hashing at full performance and then someone else followed that up and just said you know it's a problem with windows 10 um and this is actually an ongoing sort of um issue uh, with windows 10 specifically and the problem doesn't um, exist, I believe, with Windows. I know it definitely isn't a problem with um, Windows 7. Windows 8, um, I'm not too sure from memory. I can't um, actually remember. 
but yeah this is like an ongoing driver issue so I'm going to install this driver but I think it's going to be the same slow hashing performance which then kind of like basically wipes out the full utility of this software and the, the problem is not with the Claymore software the problem is with the Windows driver system once you go above the NVIDIA driver which is uh, 347.88 then the drivers after that they actually change the power performance or the actual profile of the actual graphics card so when you're trying to do um, OpenCL or CUDA uh, computational kind of work um, those drivers basically put the card in a much lower power state so and I think that's actually done so they can sell um, enterprise you know versions of their hardware so they've actually basically um, what's the actual term I'm looking for um, nerfed uh, an old sort of gaming term so that basically they've nerfed the actual graphics cards so they can't be used for um, serious um, you know computing power but um, yeah, I'll let this driver install and we'll test it and we'll find out. Okay, so I've just installed those updated drivers or the one recommended in the Bitcoin talk thread uh, and restarted the machine and let's just confirm that. So the driver is, yeah, 6.8.81, is is I think that was what it was or 6.8.8. Point one, I can't remember. You guys have seen it in the previous section of the video. Uh, it's difficult for me to remember the exact um, numbers when I've only used it once. Anyway, let's close that. Let's try the actual miner again using the recommended driver. And we'll go start Ethereum only. Let me just show you the MSI afterburner as well. Okay, so we've just connected to the pool now, but we're still running at 4.4 mega hashes. So let me just minimize this folder window. You can sort of see what's going on here. Um, the display is a little bit choppy, so apologies. So, so yeah, we're mining at 4.4 mega hashes, but you can see here on the right hand side, the actual power usage is bobbing between sort of 55 and 59% power. Um, it's actually not using really um, any power from the actual card um, at all. Like I say, if you use this, um, not this particular miner, but if you use the other miners uh, with different drivers, the 3.7, the 347.88 drivers, then you get 80 mega hash um, easy. It uses a lot more of the actual card's uh, power. Um, in this case, it's just not really doing very much at all. So what I'll do is um, I'll just test the actual miner with the... Um, the dual mining of the other coins uh, just to see if there's any sort of performance gains on um, Decreed for example so this time we're going to go ETH and Decreed and I'll just wait for that to start up so this is actually going to be some really great software but um, it's going to be seriously limited if you're using Windows um, 10 and at least until they find some kind of workaround or something like that so if you're on Windows 7 and you've got an Nvidia graphics card this is going to be a great miner for you but um, if you're on Windows um, 10 like me, um, I think we're probably going to best stick to the uh, the Genoil uh, miner. Um, I'm currently using the 1.0.8 version, and that's been working really well. Um, barring the automatic Windows updates that you just have to keep rolling backwards and forwards. Um, okay, so yeah, we've got the ETH running at 4.2, and the Decreed is 42 megahash. That also seems very low, um, as well as so um, yeah I'm not really seeing much going on there and I think once again that's because the uh, computing power of the actual graphics card is being reduced because of the drivers yeah I was curious why this um, I'm wondering whether if this um, software runs in CUDA mode what might be the earliest driver that you can use that supports CUDA um, obviously we've already tried 34788 that doesn't work so but I think that's the most newest one that you can get and get the full performance out of the actual graphics card um, and Cycon is performing very much the same as uh, Decreed there as well um, so unfortunately this is a little bit disappointing I'd really like to try um, I don't have any Windows 10 machines um, unless I 
do a Windows, uh, sorry, a Windows 7 installation um, just to get the full performance out of it. I just really wanted to see exactly how it would perform. So that is about it for this video. Um, unfortunately, it is a bit disappointing. I would have liked to have shared a great performance uh, with you guys, but now you know. So yeah, if you want to, if you have NVIDIA hardware, use the Claymore's version 6 on your Windows 7 machine and possibly Windows 8. But if you've got Windows 10, um, don't bother. Stick to what you're using. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Till next time. See ya.